Good afternoon everyone, I am Erwin Van Sisegosho and I am here to report about the swine industry. So let's start. Overview of swine industry. Swine production history dates back 25 million years ago we started in Asia and Europe. So the, so the domestication of this animal started between 6,000 to 8,000 BC which means that, that by that time ang atong ancestor is ng sort na og at iman o kalaga sa ila for their perception and production. So ancestors of today's domestic pigs are European wild boar and pigs of Chinese origin. And now let's talk about how the evolution of the swine industry. So as a type of pig before, the swines are very lean and lanky. Lean and lanky which means that ni wang atak as until they extremely evolved into fat ng mga pigs since ang mga ancestors kay nag feed sila o daganan, they discovered that pigs are capable of getting very fat and up until now, we are producing lean meat type which the sole purpose is to produce good quality meat. So the housing before is free roaming until they develop into pastures and lots. So we know pastures and lots. And finally into now, the pigs are in total confinement with all the facilities needed for swine producing. So the diet and feed. Before, they are foraged in roots, berries and nuts until they feed into ear corn and tankage and finally into corn soy feed which is very essential for the nutrition of the pig as corn soy is very nutritious and protein which is good for the improvement of the quality of meat. So the marketing before is the swines are herded into droves to market and to stockyards and and finally to now the meat the meats and swines are direct to fuckers. So here we will be comparing the swine industry before and now. So as a type of pig, before they are fat, now they are lean or meat type. So housing is outside before, but now the pigs are in confinement. In diet uh, or feed, before is, is ear corn and corn tankage, but now the swines are feed on corn soy feeds. So before the size of pig farms are very small, but now we have very large, very large swine production facilities. Before, ang mga princess wines are purebreds only. Well, now we have crossbreds, which is very good as crossbreds are are have hybrid vigor, which is very good for the meat production. So, animal farming of SAS before is only once or twice a year, but now continuous na as long as you take good care of your sows. So, in continuation, the importance of swine industry. Swine, swine production in the Philippines is a 191 billion industry and is the largest among the livestock and poultry industries of the countries. So as we all know, mak halos makita yun at ang meat ang pork products sa itong supermarkets, sa mga kadanan, sa mga pagkaon. And it is said that 60% of the, that, of the total animal meat consumption of the Filipinos is provided by the swine or pork industry. So swine production is a very profitable business but also a very risky one. So I'll, I will explain to you why is that. So here is the needed or the mga kailangan to produce a modern production farm or to be su a successful swine producer. So you need total confinement, slated floors, environmentally controlled buildings, automated feeding, waste management, high level of biosecurity, Reset production, buildings and rooms, terminal crossbreeding, white cells, colored bores, AI or artificial insemination, farming continuously, early winning, and market on carcass merit basis. So here are the equipments in swine production. So in order to have a successful swine production business, so you need these kinds of facilities and systems in your farm. So you should have housing systems breeding gestation facilities, farrowing facilities, nursery facilities, growing and growing to finishing facilities. So all these facilities have different kinds of functions. They also have different kinds of equipment such as feeders, drinkers, sprinklers, mga heaters, mga floors, mga flooring, mga cages, mga confinement. So as we all know, the business of swine industry is very risky and very extraneous, so we need to carefully manage everything here. So, sa housing system, dapat separate ang bores o ang sows o ang piglets, 
they should ha they should have their own facilities for them to to do their job for them to have quality for them to have comfort and everything so here are the samples of the facilities so as you can see there mga feeders mga powering facilities mga confinement and everything so let's talk about the breeze of swine a classic definition of breed from a genetic standpoint is often described as animals that through selection and breeding have come to resemble one another and pass those traits uniformly to their offspring so as we all know the kanakig mga definitions of breeds and we can therefore conclude that they are almost the same as long as we understand that ang breeds is as long as ma-understand mga ang breeds is those traits or mga characteristics that namana sa mga animals from their from their parents or grandparents so the most commonly recognized breeds used in modern swan production units include the Berkshire, Chester White, the Rock, Hampshire, Pine Train Poland, China, Landrace, Mission, Spot, and Yorkshire or Large White. So let's talk about those kinds of breeds. So Berkshire, they originated in England. The ears are short and erect. The body is black with white feet, tail, and white spot on the head. It is known for high quality pork, tender, juicy, and flavorful meat. In the rock, they originated in, Uni in the United States. The rocks are solid red in color and they can vary light to very dark. Widely used as a sire breed and is known for high rate of lean growth, efficient conversion of feed to lean tissue, and extremely high quality pork products. The next one is a Chester White. It originates in the United States. So these hogs are solid white in color with small downward pointing ears. The Chester White is known for prolificacy and mothering ability. The next one is the Hampshire. So they originated in England. Hampshires are black in color with characteristic white belt. So nasa loyo, from behind the neck, extending to the short distance across the back. So their ears are generally upright. upright. The next one is the, is the mission. As I mentioned in the earlier slides, so some of the modern breeds are um, conf are developed from breeds which are which originated from china so this one so the mission is predominantly black in color with large ears and very wrinkled skin they are characterized as fat slow growing peaks with good pork quality so the mission has been extremely important as they are model for improving the reproductive capacity of the modern pig so that's it so the next one is the yorkshire so Originated in England, also known as large white being the inter internationally recognized name. So large white or Yorkshires are entirely white with ears that are erect and moderate in size. So they are very good in prolificacy and mothering ability also. So makita niyo dere ang Berkshire is fully black in color but mga characteristics nila is nasa lay white spot in their face and in their feet. Sa so, turok, they are red but they can vary from light red to very dark red sa so chester white makita sila nga mga all white but ang characteristic gud niya is ang yang downward pointing nga ears sa so hampshire so they are black but as you can see they have a white part which is like a belt and the next one is the mission so very fat and very slow growing peaks downward downward ears with black color and the yorkshire it is different from Chester White as they have erect ears. So now let's talk about the management of the boar. So when you purchase boars, always always know that you should buy them at least 45 to 65 days before using them since you have mga, mga systems nga agian ng kanang mga boars. So in that case, you have plenty of time to check for your health, test mate, and evaluate them for their reproductive capacity. So, to minimize the problems, always consult veterinarians para mabalan kung sa mga mga sakit or mga ano sa mga pores ng imong di pa ang purchase. So, the transportation of pores is very important. So, always sanitize and clean the bedding sa mga sa mga transporter sa mga trucks. So, it provides suitable bedding and protection against the weather. So, always remember nga, do not mix boars from different, from different lands that so from different places. So, since they have, they might be quarreling or mag-away sila since dili sila ilado sa each other. 
So, sa quarantine, sa mga boars, so, you should isolate them 30 days or preferably 60 days in the quarters. Isolation facilities should be cleaned two weeks beforehand. So, always maintain a good biosecurity between new additions and the herd. So, as we all know, biosecurity is one of the most important things in livestock production as the kanking mga mga diseases nga magikan sa laing lain lugar especially right now that we have the African swine virus always always remember that these viruses are very deadly and can cause a lot of damage to your to your products and swines so always the quarter should be clean and sanitized the quarter should have protection from extreme weather conditioning so as mayo and may mga heater or cooler mga sprinkler as mga sprinklers para mabasa ang mga kuan o pagugnawan. So, the sleeping area should have a 15 to 20 square feet of dry, draft-free, and well-ventilated. And well-ventilated. So, set up a separate feeding and bedding areas to encourage exercise. So, para makalakalak ang mga kuan, dapat ilikin yung sila ihuot. So, provide shade at least 30 square feet. So, do not haul boards that are not unfamiliar to them. So, as we, as I mentioned earlier, Dili pwede i-open dito so dapat familiarize ang mga boards for each other para dili sila magkaway. So, the floor should be hard and well furnished and the surface should neither be rough nor slippery since very delikado kayo na as ma atong mga boards is mga dagko na sila. So, they have a risk of injury if the floor is slippery. So, let's talk about the feeding of boards. So, 4 to 5 pounds of balance, 14% or 4 to 5 pounds of grain and a half pound of a new 35% protein supplement should be fed to the new boar. So, young boars can grow up to 6 pounds of feed during the first breeding season and not, in, when not in service, they can maintain adequately in 4 pounds of feed. So, always remember that it's when, when you are in a swine production business, it is always necessary to have a feeding guide or feeding protocol. So, do not overfeed the boar because it can lead to reproductive problems and the decrease of length of service in herd. So if overweight kaya at ang, ang atong mga boar or dagko kay sila, maglisit na o magpapatong sa ilang or magpapit sila sa atong mga saw, which can be very difficult since malesen ang ilang reproductive capability. So fertility and breeding system. The owner should do test mating in 1 in, in, one in 10 young agroid boars to no fertility problems. So when the age of 7 to 8 months, magtest mate na sa ang mga pores for them to know the fertility problems. So, there are two types of mating, the natural mating and AI. So, in artificial insemination, a boar can breed eight, 8 weeks per week. A boar can breed 8 sows per week. So, if mag contact to 2 weeks, so maka, maka impregnate ang atong boars 16 doses per week. So, a natural mating can be 2 sows per week, so 4 weeks per week. So, the owner should have patience and good judgment in handling the breeding boars. So, the boars should be placed together with the same age and size between breeding systems. The task of the boar should be trained to prevent serious injury. So, always do health check and care for the boars. So, it is very necessary to vaccinate them to prevent them from getting diseases so if the boar is sick isolate them right away in order for them not to infect the other boars so always sanitize the area maintain cleanliness and prevent them from sickness and also temperature is a very sensitive thing for the boar so dali pa kayo mainitan ang atong mga boars dali kayo matugnawan mainitan sila magsingitan sila na sila kanahan so maintain ambient temperature between 18 to 25 degrees celsius to minimize the negative influence of heat stress so to keep the area cool or use use equipment such as sprinklers and necessary so adding supplementary fat can also assist the cooling of the pore so the care and management of sows and yield so select stock from animals which have good performance so ang atong mga sows is pilihan gina sila pilihan gina na sila as we should pick those sows na have good performance or good mothering ability for that for our products to be good for our piglets to have a good growth so result from combination of good traits so always avoid inbreeding so as we all know you are studying genetics right now inbreeding can cause a lot of problems it can cause diseases 
So passage recommended for reading is 8 months, so at least 2nd or 3rd hit, weighing about 100 to 110 kilograms. So as you all know, as the mga newly purchased, so same, same lang sila sa mga sows and gills, they should be quarantined, separated first, so 2 weeks, so it checks sila for diseases and everything. So the worm gilt 7 to 14 days before breeding, and inject vitamins once before breeding. Also, you need to vaccinate the sows and gills with hog cholera, FMT, and others in 6 to 8 months. So avoid gills from becoming too fat again. So always maintain the food protocol, food guide. So 14 days before serve, increase ration to 3.3.5 kilograms a day. So ang aim is to increase the egg cells to be fertilized. So continuation of care and management of sows and gills. So always monitor them. So 3 weeks. 18 to 24 days after breed and 6 weeks if wala na sila nang init we can assume na ang atong sows are pregnant so i-check nyo sila 3 weeks and 6 weeks kung wala na sila nang huwag ang kanang asawa is already pregnant so the gestation period of pigs is approximately 114 days so average na, na siya so always avoid the stress within 3 to 4 weeks of pregnancy because as in mga mate ang mga embryo sa atong mga feeds which is very problematic so feed sow with the broad sow or breeding feeds so also remember again do not overfeed or underfeed feed 2 kilograms per day and increase gradually until mga nak na ang ato ang sow so always pet the sow especially during hot weather since may retreat na sila basta init kaya ang weather always bath them or spring here yung pabog sa ila so treat 14 and 7 days before farrowing with against mage you worm the sow 7 to 14 days after farrowing so place them in the farrowing pen one week before sila mga anak clear the other of the sow with clean cloth soak in warm water of your before farrowing so a clean other is very important as diritso na na mag feed ang mga piglets after nila pagpanganak so observe signs of farrowing. So these are the signs when kapit na magfarrow ang atong mga sows. So they are restless. They have an easiness feeling. So they, are, they sit like a dog. Their teeth produce milk. So frequent urination by AA. Magswal ang ilang vulva and meconium or makita ni mga mga first rashes sa atong piglets. So the, the duration of farrowing is 30 minutes to 6 hours and average 2.5 hours kina. So, ang interval sa between piglets nga manggawa should be only 15 minutes since if magdui pa na, the piglets might suffocate and di na sila makasurvive. So, placenta will come off partially during farrowing but the rest will come out 30 minutes after the piglets. So, 45 minutes with restlessness and excessive straining is a sign of difficult farrowing. So, always check sales condition before injecting oxytocin. So, oxytocin makahelp na siya sa pagparegulate o pagpaanak sa atong mga sows. Inject antibiotic or provide via drinking water or feed 3 to 10 days before firing and 5 to 10 days after firing. So, inflame other may cause small amount of milk produced. So, massage the other with cloth soaked with lukewarm water followed by injecting antibiotics. So, always remember that do, do not feed the sow the day of firing. So, dili yung ang sao kung mga nakina. So, sa clean period, maybe 28 to 48 days depending on the practice of the farm. So, do not feed sow at weaning also. So, the dry period is the time interval from weaning to service. So, these are the signs of heat na kung mangwag ng imong mga sows. So, swelling and reddening of vulva, appearance, appearance of mucus discharge from the vulva, Grunting and restlessness, mounting her pen maze, frequent attempts to urinate with little or no discharge, standing heat or stand firm in one place and resist attempts to move her away. So the dry period is time interval from weaning to service. So good sow should have come in heat 3 to 7 days after weaning. Always keep sow in good health. Keep lactation period not longer than 6 weeks. Do not feed on sow on days of weaning. So after weaning, increase na kasi feed again to 3.5 until 4 kilograms per day until service. So, expose wind sow to the boars para makastart sila o breed. So, hormonal injection should be given if sow does not come in heat after 10 days. Continuation of the management of newborn piglets. 
so there are instances when when the crushing of piglets may be may be caused so it's our these are caused by the following so no hurdles or guardrails so weak legs of the sow and slippery flooring so this can be very bad as ang mga piglets nato is matugan by the very big sow which is mag cause the death of piglets so inject iron supplement at 3 to 5 days old and repeat at 10 days old so feed piglet with bee starter feed at 7 to 10 days so castrate piglets at 1 to 2 weeks old and but the most ideal is 10 days so ano i-castrate na nato ang atong mga piglet so ilin nato sila need for to, to become pores and sow since they are produced for consumption and for processing of products para ipang palikya sa atong market so we have boars and sows mga breeds na sila nga needed lang for solely needed for the production and at and mga piglets is needed for the production and consumption processing of meat products or pork products so check health status if piglet is sick postpone the activity so kung masakit yung piglet so cancel the castration so do not transfer pig, piglets before and after castration to avoid stress also it's very important to vaccinate piglets and sow with hog cholera at 3 to 30 to 35 days so win the piglets at 30 to 42 days depending on the health condition of the piglets and deworm the piglets at 42 to 45 days old now let's go to the last topic which is the care and management of growing to finishing pigs. So we have different different stages in the ano, growing to finishing pig, to finishing pigs. We have weaners, growers and fatteners. So always follow the space requirement needed for the for the pigs. So provide feeding through where all pigs can eat at the same time. So provide proper ventilation, bath spray para Magkada ilang feeling, especially during hot weather, and always follow the feeding guide of pigs. So, weaners are piglet that has been separated from its mother to become fully mature. So, a grower are pigs that is 30 to 60 kilograms, so mostly 3 to 5 months sila. So, ang fatteners nato is 60 to 90 kilograms, or about 5 to 6 months na. So, group pigs according to sizes, not ages. So, always separate weak ones so restrict feeding the first few days after our arrival to avoid digestive problems in weaning management be sure that the piglets are used to solid feed at weaning so do not change the kind of feed given one week before until week one after weaning so one kilogram of pre starter is enough for 10 winners for seven to four to three to four days times a day so gradually increase the feed one week until it reaches 3% of the body weight. So always remove the sow, not the piglets. So maglahik ka, always remove ni mo ang mother, dili ang piglets. So avoid mixing liters at least one week after weaning. So when transferring, carefully load and load pigs from the truck. So the floor of the truck should be bedded with sand or sawdust. So Remove all protruding nails and other pointed objects since risky na sila and they can injure the products or pigs. So do not overexcite or overheat pigs. So this will make them ha become become sick or have a fibrous condition that and its meat will tend to be sour. So magasto magilang meat dili chada quality sila meat. So that's all for our report. Thank you very much and God bless us all.